Okay, so let's carry on with analyzing Forex pairs on the higher timeframes and looking how to identify potential future areas for trading. So today we are on the Australian dollar, US dollar. We're on the daily time frame. Uh, first thing we want to do is have a look at what this market has been doing in the recent past. So first thing we can see is this market was in a very, very long downtrend all the way back since sort of September 2014. Um, this market made a very, very strong move down. If we just mark in some of these moves just quickly, what we can see is the market behaving in typical downtrend fashion. We make a low, a lower low, and a lower high. What tends to happen in downtrends is when you make the low and then the lower high, uh, they tend to use each other. So we're making a area of resistance here when the market breaks through, comes back up, tests it, and that's where it pushes off from. Now, in very, very strong downtrends, like up here, what you can see is the market comes down, pushes back up, the push back up is very small, comes down, tries to push back up again, it's very small, and then it plummets again. And this is a sign of a very, very powerful uh, move. It's showing some um, serious weakness in this market. Um, another thing to look at when the, with downtrend, as we've gone over a few times before, is the MA200. The MA200 is widely used um, by lots of different people, it's used by banks, it's used by hedge funds. If you ever watch Bloomberg, you hear them talking about stocks or markets, they're always going to mention the MA200. Basically, with the market trading underneath the MA200, it's considered to be in a downtrend. And when it's above it, it is considered to be in an uptrend. Now, after this move down, what we can see is the market found support down at these levels down here. Um, sort of 6,800 up to 6,900 is where the market found good support. And although it was still under the ME200, for me, this whole price action right here is consolidation. What then happens is we see a large bounce from this market. For me, with this bounce, let's just mark this in once again. If the downtrend was going to continue when the market pushed back up, this was the levels that I would have expected it to happen from. We've made the low, lower high, lower low, lower high right here. We come down. You can see this is basically traders attempting to continue the downtrend. But as the market falls down, reaches the levels right here, which is the consolidation levels it bounces off of it now what is this telling us well we're first of all we're back above the ma200 and we've just tried to make a downward move to continue the downtrend which has failed so this market potentially and i have to stress the word potentially because we don't quite have enough evidence yet but potentially the trend is changing on this market and it's beginning to move into an uptrend for me however and the up, for there to be an uptrend, we'd really need a break of some very key levels, which are right over here. If we just mark this in roughly, well, the first thing you can see with marking that in is during this downtrend, the market bounces off of here, crashes through, and then when it crashes through, it comes back up again and uses this as resistance to continue the sell-off. So for me, this market would need to break above here before I consider it in a um, strong and longer term uptrend. So for right now, let's have a closer look at this market. Okay, so the first thing I can see is the 
this market is in an upward channel. You can see the markets touching here, 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 and it's just touched here and fallen away again. And the important thing to remember with channels like this, you do always want them on your chart purely because if you're in sell positions, say from here, the market comes down, you start to stall here, it's good to understand that this is a level of support. So if you start to see reactions, you can close partial profits or you can exit your position. The same thing for buy positions. If you're in here, you start getting the reactions here. You know, it's a good idea to come out of the trade or to close partial profits. So looking at this now, uh, the key areas to watch for me anyway, for trades. Well, the first thing to remember, we're above the MA200. So we have to look at this market slightly positive. Um, the strongest area for selling anyway is you know when we start getting up into these levels up here just come across actually let's mark these in for me these would be ideal levels to look for Good confirmation to get into sell positions up in these levels for a move back down. Currently, your target or my target currently it totally depends what the market does as it comes up. But you know, you can see sort of these levels here 7800 basically. See, that's where the market has touched and fallen away from. And um, closer to home, really, I mean, really already we are in key levels. Let's just mark these in. So there's really a big level of support and resistance. We have a whole area right here. So if the market begins to push back up, you're going to want to tie it in with the trend line. And that'll be a very nice area to look for a sell position. If you, if you tie it in with the trend line, also marrying up with previous high. Um, also marrying in with key swing lows right here. Um, and if it works out with price action, it's a good level to look for sell positions. Now the market is currently sitting right here at the bottom of the trend channel. For me, what I would also be looking for is if price action could come out of this trend channel, let's say if it falls through currently, and then we see another bullish push up. It would be another great area to watch for sell positions. Again, you know, if you can get confluences, if when it pushes back up again, it touches against the level of what would be resistance from the trend channel, it would be a very nice area to look for sell positions. You know, that's how the market moves, that's how the market works. Buy positions. Still this level right down here, which is basically where the price was consolidating. You can see when the market comes up here, comes back down, retest this level, pushes off, comes back down, retest level again, and that's where it pushes off from. So really, we have, you know, one, two, three, and four very, very strong levels. For me, the strongest levels to watch would be up here and down here, but currently where price action is sitting, this is also a very, very nice level to watch the market um, for that process to see if you get the good price action, the good positions, um, managing the trades with the key levels, with the recent lows and highs, and uh, watching out for the trend channels. Okay guys, so hopefully that was helpful. Um, that's basically everything I would be looking at on the Australian dollar, US dollar. Hopefully you understood all of the analysis. Um, I hope you all have a great trading week. I'm James Orr and thank you.